Hi and welcome to a new video. If you keep receiving spam emails, your email address might have been passed around by email marketers. Of course, you can block the emails sending you messages, but you may still receive spam emails from different addresses in the future. In this video, I'll show you a privacy feature on your iPhone and iPad called Hide My Email. With this function, it's possible to create another email so you can keep your personal email address private. Let's go! The Hide My Email feature is available on devices with iOS 15, iPad OS 15 and higher. To check your software version, go to Settings. Then tap on General. Then click on Software Update. And then it will show you the installed software version of your iPhone or your iPad. This feature is exclusively available for iCloud Plus members, so it is only available for people who purchased more cloud storage than the free 5GB. If you want to have more than the free 5GB iCloud storage, you can purchase a plan that is suitable for your needs. If you want to learn more about iCloud Plus and buy more storage, click on the video tag on the top right corner. The main idea is that instead of giving your personal email address to someone or for example using the mail to sign up on a website, you can create random generated email addresses. This way, your personal email address is kept private. The Hide My Email feature can be used in two ways. You can either manually create a random generated email address in the settings, or while creating an account on a website in Safari, there will be an option to generate a new one as well. The randomly generated email addresses are called relay emails that will receive emails and forward them to you. In this way, if the website you signed up for spams you or your email address gets leaked to email marketers, you can just turn off the email forwarding anytime. This way your device will stop receiving emails from them. To enable the feature, go to Settings. Then click on your Apple ID. Then on iCloud. Here tap on Hide My Email. And lastly, click on Create a New Address and add the name of the website of where you might want to use that email address. I will write in Test for now and leave the Note field blank. Then tap Next to proceed. A random unique email address has been generated. You can use it while signing up for a new account on websites, applications, or sending an email to someone. Press Done to continue. It is now added to the list of unique emails. You can create as much as you want for different purposes. Open the new email address to change some settings including the Forward To, which is your real email address where the emails will be forwarded to, the label, and add a note. To copy the newly created email address, press on Hide My Email, then tap on Copy. If you receive spam messages from this email, you can just deactivate the email address. To do this, click on Deactivate Email Address, and then on Deactivate once more. You can later reactivate or delete the email address by tapping on Inactive Addresses. Tap on the email address. Then reactivate address and reactivate it again. Now I'll show you how you can use this feature when signing up on a website. This only works when you are using Safari as a browser. I'll try to subscribe to an online newsletter using its automated feature. You can use the Hide My Email button above your keyboard and it will generate a separate unique email address which is automatically labeled with the website you signed up for. Tap on Use. And now you can submit the new email address to the website. You can expect an email confirmation that you have subscribed to the newsletter and see that it was delivered to the new email address and then forward it to your private email. Here you can see the unique email address was the one they used to send me the confirmation email. Now, if you get spam emails from the website for some reason, keep in mind that they don't have your personal email address. Remember that you can just deactivate the random address to stop it from forwarding emails to you. And that's it. 
If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye.